Yo, what is going on guys? We are back today for a very long anticipated video that I wanted to make. We're going to be talking all about the Necropolis. And we're going to be opening up these awesome rewards from the Crypt uh, in today's video. And doing some rank ups, some ascensions, some very exciting stuff for today. And we're also going to be talking about my item usage for all of Necropolis. So let's go ahead and jump in there for a sec, man. Because... This content, um, I, I, I genuinely believe that this is the greatest piece of content ever added to the game. Like, the only thing in the entire game that I personally like more than Necropolis and, like, this type of content is Battlegrounds. Like, Battlegrounds is the only thing that tops Necropolis in this game for me, as far as, far as like, things to do. Um... But Necropolis is definitely a close second. I had so much fun streaming this content and hanging out with you guys. Those streams were just always an absolute blast. And what I love about this type of content is that it like inspires us YouTubers to like hop on each other's calls um, during each other's runs. And that makes streams like so much more fun, dude. Like God, it's just, I had such a blast, such a, such a freaking blast. And the rewards, man, the rewards are so stacked for completion. These completion rewards are better than the exploration rewards, in my opinion. And what I mean by that is for the amount of effort, for the amount of rewards, like completion rewards is, is literally five times better than exploration because you have to do one path to get completion rewards. You have to do five more paths to get these exploration rewards. So, like, the completion for one path, like, you just get so much. You get a full rank three. You get class selectable seven stars. You get half a titan. You get a mastery point. Like, completion rewards, man, I, I couldn't believe how good they were. And then the exploration rewards, you know, they're pretty good, too. Seven star maestro, base pool selector, a full titan, a generic two to three. Like, man, these rewards were, 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 were pretty stock. So, man, let's just jump in here for a sec. I'm just going to give some thoughts on um, all kinds of fights. So before we actually do that, let's go over some item usage. So uh, I made a little, little graphic here. So here we go. So in total, so this is all six of my paths combined. Uh, I used 143 single revives and then 24 team revives for all six paths, the entire thing. So if we do a little math on that, and we're just going to use like the average unit cost of a team revive being 100 units and the average cost of a 40% revive being 40 units. If we use those numbers, we do a little bit of math, comes out to about 8,120 units worth of revives. So that's like around how much units I would say you'd want to have on deck, like probably like 10,000 if you know, you're know you trying to 100% Acropolis. And like that's your 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 resource to purchase revives you know obviously i didn't just spend eight thousand units on those revives that's not what i did i had a ton of uh a ton of revives built up in my stash and so the actual unit cost for me 100 percenting all of the necropolis was about 1000 units and uh, that's only because uh you know i could have done it with no units but uh i thought i was going to need to buy you know the bundle the, the monthly eq bundle like multiple times and i only bought it once i was going to buy it more than once but i actually messed up and like i had completed like eq difficulties but i'd never like claimed the offer so like i lost some of the offers like i had only had one eq that i could actually go through and still get the offer to pop up uh, and that's the one that I picked up, which uh, has like a ton of revives, potions. It has like, I think 10 team revives or something. Uh, it has 10 30% boost. It has 10 energy refills. Like that is by far one of the best bundles in the entire game. And so that's where my 1000 units on this content went to. And uh, I don't really regret it at all because like, like I said, that, that those bundles are so good that even though maybe I could have done it without it, I'm so glad that, that I spent those units because those boosts are really one of the main reasons why I wanted to pick that up. Just so, you know, I could be 30% boosted for multiple runs. Eventually those did run out and I just started using 20% um, boosts, which worked just fine, you know, instead of picking up another bundle. Um, but yeah, 
So in total, I am like really, really happy with my item usage for Necropolis. I'm pretty proud of it. Um, and yeah, I also did use a lot of free crystals. I don't have the potions listed because I wasn't keeping track, but uh, a lot of potions, just a lot of potions. I opened probably like 500 free crystals uh, and you just get so many potions out of those. So that really, really came in clutch. I never potion farmed. Uh, I didn't really revive farm i did like one time like in between paths like maybe farm like 10 revives you know nothing serious i did a little bit of the apothecary but the bulk of this was just you know a, a massively pre-built stash because you know it, it had been so many months like it, it had been like since the start of last year you know we got necropolis in november and it was pretty much since january 2023 was the last time that my stash was depleted for eternity of pain so pretty much since january to november you know that's 11 months for those 11 months my stash just slowly and slowly but surely built up and just I, that was probably the biggest uh inventory stash that i had ever had which was perfect timing for necropolis so yeah that's the total cost and item usage for necropolis and uh, yeah let's just go over like some of my favorite fights in here and some of my experience. So I love the Grandmaster. I'd say that is overall the best fight in here. He's just, he's a well-designed boss. The Grandmaster in Act 6 was already like one of my top three favorite boss fights in the entire game. So the fact that, you know, they kind of piggybacked off that and built new stuff off that, like I knew I was going to like it. And yeah, I absolutely do. The only thing I dislike about this guy is the final phase. Uh, I'm just because I'm not good at it yet. But I just brought Juggernaut, my boy Juggy here. And uh, he he destroyed the grandmaster pretty much every time so yeah rank five juggy but yeah love the grandmaster i'd say that's overall my favorite fight but that's the boss of course aside from grandmaster one of my favorite fights dude was actually the sauron the sauron was very very fun to fight and to to learn i know i actually had no idea how sauron really worked before like i kind of knew how to fight him like i knew he went unblockable but i didn't know how but yeah, he goes unblockable when he dashes and has seven or more prowess uh, or throws a special seven or more prowess and so just those little things i learned and now i'm pretty good at fighting sauron uh, i've been able to solo that fight now i yeah that was, that was a very very good enjoyable fight i'd say another really enjoyable fight was this mr fantastic uh this is where i really learned kate bishop this is not an easy fight for a kate noob like it was a massive struggle at first uh but it made me the kate player that i am today and i'm, I'm not too bad today so yeah that that fight was really really awesome uh, this airwalker was a, a lot of fun uh fought him three times and i sold him twice with uh, absorbing man my sand absorb man so those those felt really really good um as far as like up here yeah none of these fights really stood out too much this storm was pretty annoying probably the most annoying fight on this left side one of them uh but iron man uh, remastered iron man came in handy for that fight and then on the right side, um, this this guy is terrible. This fight is horrible. But if you have Aegon, dude, you can just Aegon smash it. it it's not too bad. Um, and yeah, this strife fight was one of the worst. I'd say in the whole thing, this was one of the worst fights. Um, this is probably the fight that gave me the most problems. Or that cost me like the most revives. That fight was just terrible. Just horrible horrible like the gallon on this spot on this on this path <laughs> that spot on my mind because i just saw him here um but the gallon here i just used egg on and it was fine it was totally fine compared to this stupid strife um yeah i'd say this mantis was actually one of my favorite fights this one was uh very enjoyable and i actually i'm pretty sure i beat her with just my synergy champs like odin and, and angela and proxima like just with them uh I, I took this fight down <laughs> which was fun um yeah that those are really the fights that really stand out that i want to say something about all right that's uh enough with necropolis my thoughts on it my item usage let's go get into some of those crypt rewards man so come over here claim your road to the crypt rewards yes here we go so we have some really really juicy stuff in here so we have an abyss nexus we have a t6 cc we got a six star relic twenty-three thousand seven star shards 
We have a one to two rank up gem. We have 300 primordial tier two dust and 6,000 Titan shards since we hit 11 million deaths, like right at the end. So buzzer beater hit. So yeah, man, that's awesome. Let's go ahead and uh, claim all this good stuff here. So Abyss Nexus here. I'm not really too sure. Let's just grab a, a mystic one, I guess. And so out of here, <coughs> as you guys can see, so we have three skill catalysts already. So we can take a six star to rank five. We're one cast away from taking a seven star. It's not really any skill seven stars that I currently own that I want to be taking up. Tech, we just have way too much. I have five of these tech catalysts. Like just, I wish I could trade tech for something else. Science, one. Not bad. We're getting, I'm not really, there's not really any science champion. Like, there's always good science champions to rank, but, like, there's no one, like, on the priority list right now. Um, Mutant, not really anyone on the priority list either. Cosmic, Adam Warlock, I definitely want to get him up to rank 2 as a 7-star. But, uh, I also want to get Juggernaut, 7-star Juggernaut up to rank 2. So, we're going to grab a Mystic one here to get closer to doing that. Alright, cool. And, uh, yeah, now we're going to go and open, what do we want to do for crystals? So, we can open up that Abyss, uh, yeah, Abyss Nexus. Let's pop this open. And, let's see here. Yeah, I will take a Max Sig. Absolutely. Absolutely good more seven star shards the better um over here you know what let's i want to save a five star relic Nah, i think i'll just open it let's open this since it's a relic maybe i'll get something that i don't already have um yeah okay i'll awaken the the sinister relic yeah I like that. I ha I'm running that on my uh, my onslaught, dude. Onslaught goes crazy with the Mister Sinister Relic. It's it's free regen. It's literally free regen. And in battlegrounds, like that is so huge. Just get like an extra like four percent, heal back four percent of the chip damage you've taken so far. Like it's super clutch. So yeah, I'll, I'll take that. I don't I have no idea what the awakening on that does, but we'll take it. Uh, all right. And then we're going to go and open up the six star relic as well. Let's get that up in there. All right. And then I'm going to be saving my, my big hero seven star based crystals. I don't have enough for a Titan, but I'm going to be going to Las Vegas. I leave for Las Vegas tomorrow. So I'm going to have Andy to open up some stuff for me. And oh man, that, that Ant-Man relic would have been so good. For, uh, for my spider ham but ghost rider that's the coolest looking relic in the game so i am pretty pretty stoked about that that's pretty fire um that that relic is just so cool dude like damn the blue flames as it on a six star one that goes hard bro that goes so hard oh my god that's beautiful all right but uh, we will do be doing some stuff here. So, yeah, that's going to be it for the crystals. But we're about to do some massive rank ups here. So, yeah, unfortunately, we're going to have so two seven stars plus this one here from these Korean challenges. So that'll be three seven stars for Andy to open. And then I have enough loyalty uh, for a, a seven star loyalty crystal. And then once I do the next run in incursions uh for the final sector i'll be able to get a, a curse crystal so i think me and andy are gonna stream uh like in person like doing an incursions run that'll be fun uh and then i'll uh yeah i'll have enough for an incursion crystal as well but yeah we're gonna do some rank up so we can do a rank five a rank two and an ascension so that's i think what we're gonna do today is level up on it is on nice dude that is nice let's go all right let me see what iso i have a whole bunch of miscellaneous let's just sell it all right so let's get started with let's get started with the rank two because this was 
go to one and two rank up gem from the crypt reward so we can take any seven star now to rank two in the science class like i said there's not really any science champions that i'm really like on the priority list like spider gwen would be kind of cool maybe annoying and actually i feel like she would be annoying this meta you can't easily just stun safeguard but no, I, I, I'm not going to do Spider-Gwen, I don't think. That's actually not a bad idea, but uh, I think I'm going to hold off on Spider-Gwen. I don't think she's going to be the best for next meta, because it's like a skill-based meta. So, skill champs will be running wild. Um, for, for skill, though, Sig 80 Falcon. I don't want to take him up, though. Uh, he won't even work. Falcon does work for Safeguard, but not for the current meta because of the... The new node that they had. I mean, the old node was supposed to stop him too. But basically, you know, you're just not supposed to be able to turn it off the ability accuracy to get around the safeguard. So, Falcon, not going to work. Moon Dragon is like a little tempting, but she's unduped. It's same with Mantis. It's, eh, I don't know. Mutant. I do have some good mutant options. Sauron would, would be good. Emma wouldn't be too bad. Um, but I think I'm going to hold off. Cosmic, Adam. Adam would be a sick rank 2. Uh, I definitely want to get him up. Uh, it's just, he's not really going to be doing too much in safeguard right now. And he would be a decent defender in safeguard, but I, I, don't, I don't know. I, I don't. I, once I get the Cosmic Catalyst, I'll definitely take him up. And tech, I already showed you guys, I have five stupid tech T6CC. So that brings us to Mystic. Because there's multiple Mystic champions that I still want to rank up. Mainly, mainly two here. Like we talked about, Juggernaut. Definitely want to get this guy up. But he's not, like, the best for this meta. Uh, he's okay. He can kind of work. But uh, Diablo, <clears throat> on the other hand, is really good for uh, this season. This this meta, the last meta, because he applies Poison, which is a very good DOT. Plus, it takes down the node in Battlegrounds. This whole um, Stunning Reflect if you apply uh, Poison or Incinerate. So when the Defender is filled with either Poison or Incinerate, it's cooldown. Um, it goes into cooldown. And while in cooldown, the attacker gains 40% attack rating. So, you know, Diablo will be able to, you know, freely parry after he applies a singular Poison. Plus, he gets extra attack. So, yeah, having him up at rank 2 is going to be the play. So, boom, there we go. Rank 2 Diablo. I've been planning to do that for weeks. Uh, that was always the plan with these crypt rewards. Uh, so there we go. Finally was able to pull the trigger. And I just put Diablo back in my deck. I had him in the deck for the first meta at rank 1. Because it didn't really matter too much with Power Shield. But in this meta, rank 1, I just feel like it, did, it wouldn't cut it. So I, I cut him from the deck. But now, he's back. He's back because he's now he's ranked 2. So yeah, man. This was my final reward from the banquet. My final 7-star Gifted Guardians crystal was uh pretty pretty sick with diablo he was the number one that i wanted so because yeah for this meta all right let's give him all the iso that we got uh not quite enough let's go pick up one little glory package uh or one iso package from the glory store already bought it a few times but uh let's get it again and we want mystic Right. I picked up a lot of a different class for our next rank up. So hopefully we have enough ISO in that class. Uh, is that enough? Not quite enough, but we're almost there. 33 out of 35. Alright, let's get a little basic tier 5. There we go. That should do the trick. Alright. Diablo rank 2, level 35. Another 7 star joining the rank two ranks that is great all right so that one to two gem was put to a good place now we can do one ascension and i'm also going to do one rank five so let's do the no we'll save the ascension for last let's do the rank five first so if we go over to the skill class here i have enough skill catalyst to take a champ up to rank five and uh yeah, I think we're just going to pull the trigger on Bullseye. Because guy's pretty crazy. And I'm probably not going to pull the 7 star. Taking him to rank 5 might make it so that I, he is in my next Titan. But uh, I wouldn't even be mad. 
I wouldn't be mad. You know, if I took him to rank five and I pull him out of the Titan, it's fine. It's okay. I don't. Uh, uh, sure, sure. I'll I'll take a twenty twenty four champ out of my next Titan. Sure, sure, <laughs> sure. I don't care if I have my rank five or not. Give me onslaught too while you're at it. But yeah, here's that skill ISO that I got from the glory store, and looks like it's just enough. Perfect. There we go. All right, bullseye, rank five, level sixty five. And he's almost max sig, 176. He's, he's close. All I have left is that 200 gem. But, okay, there we go. So that's a rank 5 bullseye. Now, let's go ahead and put this to 6 star, rank 5, not skill, and then not ascended. So champs that we can ascend. So first, let's quickly look at my ascended champs. So we currently have 7. So that is the likes of Nick Fury, Scorpion, Hulkling, Kate Bishop, Onslaught, Absorbing Man, and Future Ant-Man. All incredibly, incredible champions. Uh, incredibly powerful champions. Like, all the champions are nuts. So who's going to be joining them? So it's going to be one of these champions here. Uh, you can ascend, like, non-rank fives, but I think you get the most bang for your buck when you do rank when you rank and when you when you ascend i can't speak when you ascend a rank five so that's what we're gonna be doing so these are the options now out of all of these options honestly like there there's only a couple there's really only a handful of champions here that have my attention uh and that's crazy because that means like i really don't need ascensions anymore I, like i'd say there's there's two Really only two. And one main one, the one that we're going to do. Uh, out after that main one, it's like, I don't even really know who I want to send. There's one other. So who, I'm talking in mystery right now. So who are the two I'm talking about? It's really Bullseye. He's one of them. So do I want to ascend him now? You know, now that I took him to rank five. And I, I kind of do. Yeah. Um, but he's not first. He's second on the list of champs here that I want to send. So he's going to have to wait a bit. But uh, we're already halfway to the next ascension because we're at you know 300 and i think we just need to complete the paragon gauntlet with mercenaries this month and then that'll give us the other 100 primordial dust and i think a king group piece uh and then i can do another ascension so maybe i'll do that and ascend bullseye then but first the ascension that is long overdue this ascension i've been wanting to do for a while that is gallant so let's go ahead and pull the trigger on the boy gallant there uh, this one's long overdue. I wanted to ascend uh, Gallon before Hulkling, actually. But um, there was a final War 12. Uh, it was our Masters on the line. And I was assigned Hulkling, and I had a bit of a scary fight. So I ascended him for that one fight for the team. And we then we won. I didn't die, and we secured Masters. So I didn't want to do Hulkling at the time. I wanted to do Gallon. But uh, that's the way the cookie crumbled, and it, it worked. It all worked out. We got masters and everything. So, yeah, now finally able to do Gallon just in time because Gallon has been an MVP for this current battleground season. Uh, well, this this meta, I shouldn't say the season. He was pretty bad first meta, but this meta in Safeguard, Gallon completely bypasses Safeguard with his Harvest, and the only way to increase his Harvest damage is via an extra rank like Ascension. So. This this is really worthwhile. This this ascension is really worthwhile for Gallon and uh, a bit long overdue. He was my first ever six star rank five champion. I did it about a year ago uh, after Eternity of Pain. It was January of 2023. It's now a full year later for ascending him. My latest and greatest ascension. So boom, there we go. So that is the crypt rewards put to extremely good use for my account. Um, and if we go ahead, or I guess we can claim all of this stuff here. Level up. And I think we can also claim the uh, daily or weekly Valiant. Test of the Valiant stuff here as well. Yeah, give me those units, some shards, some potions. Take all that good stuff. Uh, but yeah, if we take a look at the Battlegrounds deck now, it's uh, I'm really happy with it because there's no low rank champions. Uh, Bullseye was rank 4 before and he was in the deck. So now everyone in the deck is at least rank 5. Or at least 7 star rank 2. That's the bare minimum level now in the deck. Which is really really nice. And uh, yeah. Uh, now that like my deck is basically complete. I, I, that just gives me like more confidence to push. You know. Like I want to push top 3 this season. But I was kind of waiting to just have 
It's waiting for other reasons too, but just now that I have like my full final evolved form deck, you know, I, I, I feel like more so ready and just confident. So yeah, man, really, really happy with these crypt rewards and, uh, yeah, really excited to push them some, some battleground soon. So yeah, guys, that's going to go ahead and do it for this video. Uh, once again, I'll pull up my necropolis item usage here. Uh, I, I firmly believe that Necropolis is the best piece of content ever implemented into the game. I just think the rewards for it are really good. The This event, especially as well, the community engagement that it created was absolutely fantastic. I really hope to see more of this in the future. Coming together as a community just feels incredible uh, on something like this. And I think the fights were all very well designed. I think the the path nodes or like trap nodes i think those were a very interesting twist and definitely a good added challenge some of them quite difficult uh, especially again on that strife path the strife nodes paired with the trap node um made that fight frustrating so yeah i just think kabam really knocked it out of the park uh, i also like how the rewards really remain relevant to this day you know it's it's months it's the next year after this content has come out and the rewards are still extremely relevant and it feels like they're going to stay that way which i think is the best part of the con best part about the content um and you know another part of the reason why the banquet event was a bit lackluster um was because they wanted to you know maintain acropolis as the place to go to get rank threes so yeah, I just think overall Kabam handled it really well. And it was a really cool thing to be a part of as well because, you know, I saw with others in person the first ever, you know, trailer for Necropolis sitting in the Kabam HQ. It was like such a cool experience and like just completely caught me off guard because I didn't think we were going to be getting this type of content until this year, 2024. Um, so it's just completely took me by surprise when they when they showed us that uh the the trailer and like the auditorium part of the, the offices like it was, it was so cool man such a cool experience um and yeah i just had an absolute bla blast with streaming the content uh thank you guys so much for all the support on those streams the, the monetary support was unreal on those streams and just the the viewership and just the amount of people chatting like it was just some of the the, the best analytics on my channel ever like since uh, abyss so thank you guys so much for all that support um yeah like, it's just thank you necropolis has just been so good for me for my channel for my account it's just been such a positive experience overall i just cannot highly rate this content enough yeah that's gonna go ahead and do it for this video i really hope that you guys enjoyed uh drop a like if so this will be the last video that i'm making before vegas i have one scheduled for tomorrow a bit of an account overview of course it's gonna be before these rank ups though um but yeah that's gonna do it and then i will be bringing my lap new laptop to las vegas with andy so i'll get a little setup going over there and we'll be streaming and making content and doing a lot of battlegrounds over there so very excited for what's to come guys hope you all enjoyed this video's breakdown and i'd love to hear your guys' thoughts on necropolis as a whole if you also have your complete item usage for 100 percent you want to share that i'd love to see that compare my numbers to yours uh, and yeah, just your feedback, your overall take on Necropolis as content, as it's implemented, as its rewards on the economy of the game. Just like anything you want to share about that kind of stuff, I'd love to take a read. Uh, and yeah, that's going to do it. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks so much for watching. I'm going to stop rambling. Peace out.